animal to act like humans to tell a story. Because the storyteller does this, the animals illustrate that humans sometimes act like animals. This comparison teaches a lesson that excessive pride is the weakness of man. because the priest was poor and not very happy. The priest had been telling stories that were tragic and the people wanted to listen to a story that was happy. The priest is a very religious man who is telling a fable that is not hypocritical like some of the other churchmen telling the story. Throughout the story, the priest is warning the people about the dangers of being too cocky. The story reveals that the priest is not a hypocrite and is devoted to God. This story should be selected as the winner because it is a rare, humorous story rather than a tragedy like the others. The storyteller is not hypocritical and he is amused with his creation. There is the nun's priest. He is the priest who accompanies the nun so that they may offer up their confessions. He doesn't have much, only a pathetic horse. A poor widow and a noble rooster, Sean declared. The rooster is the most magnificent rooster in all the land. One night he has a nightmare and is embarrassed because he is afraid. Sean declared is lured into the hands of a fox, but the rooster is able to fool the fox using his wits. He escapes and learns his lesson. Canterbury Tales, the Nun's Priest Tale. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a great rooster named Chanticleer. Chanticleer was the most accurate cock-a-doodle-doer on the farm, crowing on the hour more accurately than a church bell. His feathers shined bright enough to attract lovely seven hen wives. Chanticleer was living the life that every rooster dreamed of. And then one night, he had a horrifying dream. An orange beast had threatened to kill him. He believed his dream was a sign told his main chick, Hercolete, the story of a man with a similar dream. The dream was of the man saw the murder and then, dis and then discovered it. To get over his nightmare, Chanticleer did what every great man would and slept with Hercolete. Time passed on and life went on. Then one morning, during the month of May, Chanticleer noticed a fox hiding in the woods. The fox, named Don Russell, had been stalking the master rooster and his wives. The fox, knowing of Chanticleer's pride, insisted that he wanted to hear Chanticleer sing. The only way he could get, to get close to the great bird was to trick him. Chanticleer couldn't resist and burst it into song. The moment he closed his eyes to crow, the fox grabbed him by the neck and quickly took off. Pertolete noticed the commotion and screamed out. Quickly, the owner and everyone around was chasing the fox. <laughs> he told the fox, Chanticleer had a great idea, and told the fox to brag to the pursuers about how he caught the great rooster. Only a great fox can catch a great rooster, he boasted. The fox, falling for the trick, opened his mouth, and Chanticleer, <laughs> Chanticleer flew out of his mouth and into the trees. The fox again tried to flatter him, but Chanticleer had learned his lesson, never trust a flatterer. In the end.